Let's go live to France 24's Gulliver Craig. Gulliver, what more can you tell us? Well, Mikolaev's uh, charismatic regional governor, Vitaly Kim, shortly after the strike, put out a video saying, look, actually, this is good news because the Russians are striking the headquarters of the regional government. That means they no longer have any plans to try to take the city because if they did want to take control of Mikolaev and the surrounding region, they would need these regional government offices. It seems like a sort of desperate attempt to put a positive spin on what looks very much like an attempt on his life, to be honest. I mean, they struck the building where he has his offices and he is at the moment one of Ukraine's most charismatic and most popular politicians, probably second only to the president Volodymyr Zelensky in terms of popularity. So uh, Vitaly Kim showing his uh, aplomb, but clearly a very distressing sign. These buildings are right in the center of Mykolaiv, a city that had thought maybe that the attack by Russia was um, off for the while that attempts uh, had been pushed back, that the Ukrainian military had successfully defended the city. I mean, it may be that this is a parting shot of revenge, but uh, it certainly is something very, very distressing for inhabitants of Mykolaiv. And of course, it's still unclear how many people are still buried under the rubble. Gulliver, we're getting quite a lot of wind when you're speaking, so if you can just move your mic a little bit closer, that would be fantastic. You are in Kyiv, uh, the Ukrainian military... I can try to cover it up like that. Yeah, <laughs> you're, I know it's cold out there as well. You, you, in Kyiv, where you are, the Russians now say they're pulling back. The commuter town of Irpin apparently is back in Ukrainian hands. What's the latest on the situation there? Well, so Ukrainian forces are carrying out um, operations still in the Irpin to make sure that there are no more Russian combatants left in the town. I think that they think that there are still some that they've got to get rid of and also look out for booby traps, mines and so on. I think it's going to be a while before Irpin is going to be safe for civilians to return to. And of course, many buildings in the Irpin have been destroyed. There's going to be a huge reconstruction effort needed. And it's not clear whether it would be wise to start that right away because the Ukrainian military's assessment is that although the Russians have retreated now from Kiev region, and some of them have even crossed back into Russia or Belarus, that they're doing that in order to regroup and prepare new attacks. They don't think that the Russians' intention of trying to encircle and even take the Ukrainian capital has uh, been put aside forever, despite what the top Russian general said about concentrating now only on the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine. So as you can see behind me, not only the Ukrainian authorities and military, but also the people of Kiev, volunteers are helping to prepare the city's defenses. They are putting up sandbags around the, sta the statue of uh, Princess Olga. And you can see similar scenes around uh, other monuments in the center of Kiev. Gulliver, thank you for that. France 24's Gulliver Craig reporting from Kiev.